If Trees Made Porno, Deeply Rooted would be a good name for one of the movies. Just a bunch of branches hugging and squeezing and getting crammed up inside of holes, sap shooting all over the place. It's actually kind of a disturbing visual. What's up, everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're an indie artist looking for an album review and some promo, you can hit up Luke at redmattersite.com. And what I have for you boys and girls today is my review for Scarface's newest album, Deeply Rooted. This is actually his 12th studio album and his first album in seven years. And to me, Scarface is one of those rappers whose name doesn't come up enough when we talk about the all-time greats. Because when you take a look at his discography and keep in mind how long he's been putting in work, he is easily one of the most consistent rappers out there. And with this album, he definitely doesn't miss a beat. It all starts off with the song Rooted, which has face-spitting street tales and gangsta wisdom with Papa Roo on the hook. And Papa Roo returns for the hook and additional vocals on the song Dope Man Pushin', where Face paints a very vivid picture of a dope boy who's down for whatever. And I noticed that he put a little extra grit in his voice for this track, and that added to the overall hardness of it, so I really like this one. But one of my favorite tracks on here by far is The Hot Seat. It has some very dreamlike production, and storytelling bars about how the police can take you in over damn near nothing, and then you have to go through the system and deal with all that bullshit. So even though Scarface keeps a G, he does bring some great content on here, but that's nothing out of the ordinary, because Scarface has always been a voice of the people. I just think this is a great song, and I really hope he makes a video for it, because it definitely paints that picture and tells the story very well. Fuck You Too is another one of my favorite tracks, because on this one, Scarface addresses the rappers who are throwing rocks at the throne, and he also gets at the rappers who are dressing in tight clothes and representing hoods that they're not even from, which really applies to a lot of rappers out there, because we know there's a whole lot of fake shit going on. This one also features Zero on the hook, and what I like about this song is how it really seems like Scarface is making it clear that his legacy, both in the streets and in the rap game, are sealed. And I don't think you can really argue with that, because like I've said a couple times already in this review, he's put in work and has been consistent. Zero also does the hook on the song Do What I Do, and this one has Face spitting about how he was real deep in the streets and he was legit even before his record deal. And that's one of the things that I've always liked about Scarface. When he tells his stories and shares his ideas and opinions, it doesn't really seem like he's bragging or glorifying that street shit. He's just being genuine and telling you what he's been through and where he came from. And on this whole album, he does a great job of showing how he's grown over the years and become who he is today. Meanwhile, Rick Ross also drops one of his typical verses on Do What I Do, and Nas comes through on the third verse and gets really deep, just as you expect. He urges brown and black people to stick together because racism and discrimination affects us all. And he also says that violence isn't the answer. Unless it's in response to police brutality, then you should fuck the police up. I'm not saying to do that, but that's pretty much what Nas is saying. Now, one of the more interesting productions on this album comes on the single Steer, where we get an electronica sort of sound going on. On this one, Scarface is touching on how he's trying to avoid the demons, stay positive, and keep on the right path. And all of that is a reoccurring theme on this album, because Scarface is always bringing that positive shit, and he does spit about faith on pretty much every album. On here, the song God has him just questioning religion from multiple angles. And on the song You, it's another positive track where he shows some love to his family, but I wasn't really feeling CeeLo's vocals on this hook, and I found them to be a bit grating. And I forgot to mention that John Legend sings the hook on the song God, and he absolutely kills it, as expected. I just think John Legend always brings great vocals, and whenever you see him perform in live, he smashes that shit. And there are a lot of R&B hooks and vocals throughout this album. The song Voices is probably my least favorite track. Actually, it is, without a doubt, my least favorite track, because it sounds like some radio shit that Eminem would put together. It just has one of those radio-friendly, huggy, poppy beats to it, and it has some female pop vocalists, and it just, it really didn't fit on this album at all to me, so I didn't like that one at all. There's also the Relationships Gone Bad track, Keep It Moving, featuring Avant, and I did like this one because it sounded very smooth, and it has some nice, heavy bass, and a very cool, twinkling piano sample going on. So as you can see, I really don't have a lot of gripes about this album. 
Although I do think that the production is pretty bland and simple in some spots, like on the drowsy song Anything, for just one example. But still, I think this is one of Scarface's best albums, especially because of the content and lyricism that he brings on here, so I have this one at a 4 out of 5. Whether Scarface is teaching you how to make it in and out of the dope game on the song Exit Plan, spitting about the ills of the world over Mental Exorcism's bleak guitar, or aggressively staking his claim as one of the all-time greats on No Problem, Scarface just really proves that he's a force to be reckoned with, and I doubt that he'll be going away anytime soon. But that's just what I thought about Scarface's album Deeply Rooted. Hit me up in the comments section to let me know what you think, and as usual, make sure you do all that good YouTube and social media stuff, where you like my videos, you share them, you follow me on Twitter, you retweet the videos, and you especially subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching everybody, I'll see you next time.